Hello Liz, hello Speet, good whatever time of day it is, and welcome to In The Lab with Berserker. Hoi! We'll get the important stuff out of the way. As you've seen, my first emote is a fantastic little backflip with great spammability due to the way it looks like he's getting fucked in the arse. Perfect. He's got a nice little shadow boxing Rocky Balboa. Great for a bit of bad mannering. Uh, locked on, he's got a nice little one-act salute if I want to show someone some respect. And he's also got a little girl over here, yeah, which I think is quite cool. Uh, Fashion-wise, Liz, this one's just for you. Uh, for a helmet, I'm rocking a little visor with a, a ragger underneath with some nice dreadlocks with one blonde one. Very uh, Captain Jack Sparrow-esque. And I've got a nice little bone skull on. A bit like that fucked up Pokemon who's like whack him schmack him with the bone on his head. Uh, Body-wise, I've gone for a nice chainmail shirt with leather plates over it. And a nice little arm wrapping on the right. And left arm's got a nice little sort of uh, leather stacks. And I mean, look at those suspenders. Lovely, lovely. Now, uh, fashion's over. Well, get to the meat and bones of Berserker. This will be a very quick in the lab, since uh, I already sort of know what's going on with the guy. So, we'll go with his traits. Uh, as an assassin, he earns his renown in 1v1 fights and killing enemy heroes and getting killing streaks. Out of the three traits you can get, this is my least favourite one, as I prefer to sit on a point in Dominion and uh, get kills and boosts that way, so being a heavier of Vanguard actually works in my favour, but I can still do well if I sit on the enemy point and have them come to me in like, groups. Because uh, he has got, actually got some great feats, which you'll see in uh, some of the Dom Dominion clips. Revenge is the same as everybody, so I ain't going to go over there again for your speed. Uh, as an assassin, he's got reflex guard, so you've got to keep refreshing it. But having a reflex guard, he's got a deflect, and uh, Berserker's got the best deflect punish in the game as he gets a guard break off it. Uh, on the second attack of any chain, and further, you get a uh, hyper armor so you can't be interrupted. Uh, you can end a chain using the top heavy, which does extra damage, but you can't chain after it. Uh, you can use your dodge attacks to initiate chains, and you can uh, cancel the negative frames, or recovery frames if you want to call it that, by... Uh, using a zone attack or a dodge, and you can cancel attacks by a dodge. So, we'll go through his very limited moveset, he's only got one page, and I'd say his biggest weakness, as you can see, he's got no unblockables, he's got uninterruptible, he's got an infinite, but he's got no unblockable, so there's no way to open up a turtle, really. Uh, the <coughs> excuse me. The way you would counter a berserker, you block. You don't parry, you just block, and berserker can't do anything. Uh, which is why people are saying he may need like a little uh, unblockable which does a bit of poke damage. But there's a reason I'm against that myself, even though like, I love Zerka a lot. And I'll explain it after, but we'll go through his uh, chains first. So he's got Dance with the Paired Blade, which is infinite. You can either start it with a uh, light and follow it with a heavy. So the infinite, you just simply alternate with the, between the two. So you can go light, heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy. Or you could do the other way when you go heavy light, heavy light, oop, doing it right, heavy light, heavy light. You spray through that, and uh, of course you can finish with the top attack, top heavy to finish it. So do light, heavy, light, top heavy, big damage but it ends the chain. His next one is three heavies called Bear Mauler, which is one, two, three. He's then got a running heavy attack, which does alright damage. He's got a dodge left and right attack. Which is this, light attack. He's then got head slicer, which has got hyper arm on, which is a quick forward uh, hit, and then he's got a heavy version. Which I think is called like head crusher, yeah. And then he's got slashing rush, which is back which is a backward zone. That was just the zone, so if I do it right, there you go. He moves backwards. And then obviously as you just saw he's got his own here. Uh so we'll go through some of the nuances with him. To so say with Berserker, if the enemy's parry happy, you want to get in that infinite chain. You want to start doing this and tricking your opponent. You can trick your opponent by, say, cancelling to a guard break. You could faint into another heavy and you're going to think a light's coming. You could simply uh, faint the heavy into a light. So if I go heavy, light, heavy faint into a light in the same side. 
You can also, if you really want to fuck them over, faint, it, faint the heavy and then attack in the opposite direction with a light. So, heavy, light, heavy, faint. Light was the same side that time, so I did it right this time. Heavy, faint. And in the opposite side, that's it. Went top instead of the left. Uh, so you basically want to get get them trying to parry your attacks and guessing wrong. So you can catch them out with faints into guard breaks. Or faints into uh, lights. Or even faints into another heavy. Which is fucking dirty. Uh, some of the other nuances which I like to do. So a lot of people, when they see you with an attack, they get to think, oh, fucking, I'm going to fuck him up now. Because Zerkin now gets hyper armor on his second... Uh, attack and his chain finisher being the top heavy does more damage you can trade hits all day so say i'll be just out of range and i'll throw a left light when they see that left light and i miss it they usually try and attack as soon as i see that attack i'll armor through it with the top heavy and get like 63 damage which is disgusting uh regarding fainting as well what you can do which is quite cool is uh you can faint by dodging so as you can see i did a heavy and i'll dodge then that is good against, say, a Conqueror, because a Conqueror, a good Conqueror, will dodge into every attack for a guaranteed shield bash. Which means you've got to bait it out, and you can bait it out by swinging that attack and dodging. You can even do it with lights, which is insane. So against, say, someone like Nico, whose uh, tactic is just dodging into these lights, I'd simply light, dodge, guard break, and then get the uh, damage in that way. And then, obviously, you've got to mix it up, though. Um, you could even... Do it into a dodge attack. You could uh, do it forward, or you could uh, do a heavy one, as you can see. There's loads of different options you can get to mix people up, and those dodge attacks lead into chains, as you can see. Uh, what else is there in terms of little nuances? I think, mate. That's roughly it. Okay, well, I'll show you the with things actually. You can cancel the uh, whiffs with zones and that. So, as you saw there, I went straight into the zone after a whiff the light. But watch out if I just leave it. Bit of a recovery there. That leaves me open to an attack. And obviously, there's big recovery on the heavy. But if I miss it, straight into the zone to punish. So, he's a nice little sort of like trap and uh, a little sort of trap hero. As he can create his own uh, plus frames and negative frames on the enemy due to things like this. But that's the general idea, like, you just want basically, you want people to try and parry and you punish them by being tricksy as fuck with it. It's, it's why I really do like Berserker, like, it's quite skilled to play him because he's got no bullshit 50-50, I say bullshit 50-50, 50-50s aren't bullshit, they're needed. Uh, what I'll do now, I'll go into parry punishes and I'll explain why Berserker shouldn't have a 50-50 unblockable. And we'll go over, like, sort of... How to play optimally. Uh, how to play, we'll go with the Raider box. It's easy to deflect and parry and get him out of stamina. He's definitely my favourite assassin I've used. I used to think Shinobi was my favourite, but... I don't know, something about Zerk, which is just disgusting. It's the damage he gets. I think... With Zerk, he's got that sort of technicality of Highlander, where you've got to totally play the enemy. But he's got the raw power of uh, this guy Raider, which is what I love about him. Okay, so, offer any parry, no matter what the hero is, you get to top heavy. Look at the damage on this. Any parry, even on the Bushis, Long Range, Lawbringers, Shigokis, Highlanders, heavy zones, you always get that top heavy. And it is absolutely disgusting. I missed it then because I did it too late. Kill this guy and I can show you his uh, execution. So that's this is Valkyrie behind. I like that one. Uh... Okay, when he attacks. What you can do though, in certain characters. Did you see that there? He's actually got a light repost. And on certain characters, sh mainly Shigoki, Valkyrie, Lawbringer. Uh, I think there's one more, but I can't remember, mate. On s certain characters though, you can actually get a light repost. And a uh, light repost and the top heavy as well, which gives you like 63 damage. So you do that and you will land it on them, but Raider you can't get it. I think you can if you whiff it though. That damage is disgusting. So imagine doing that damage like on a Shigoki and it's guaranteed both hits were. It wasn't on this guy though, remember? I'll show you the other execution. So uh 
Yeah, it's very situational, like, as it only works in certain heroes, and you've got to be in left guard stands for it to work with the repost. But as you saw, yeah, uh, Berserker's got a uh, light repost, so you can just hit that. But optimally, on most things, you just want to parry and go for a top over. Uh, if you're near a wall, though, and the enemy has stamina, this is what you want to do. Oops, it was a lot. I thought he was going to do a heavy. Can you get near a wall, mate? Top word, though. So you want to grab? Is this going to reach? Yeah. No! Okay. It didn't work, but kill this guy again. There we go. Uh, we'll get near a wall this time. But if you buy a wall and the guy's got stamina, this is optimal. The throw does like three damage, and then you get the top heavy as well. So that's optimal if you buy a wall. Now, if the guy's out of stamina, I'll show you how much damage you can do. Now, watch this. Bang. Bang. That's like 93 damage. Most damage in out of stamina punish over, and it's the same if you get a guard break or out of the parry. So he's going to do one more. So even off a guard break, you just push forward. Bang. Bang. Look at that. And he was max health there, mate. And he's on under two bars. Off a deflect. Oop. Can't deflect his side. There we go. As you saw there, his deflect uh, gives him a guard break. So, try it once more. Missed it. Missed it. I, can't, I can never bloody uh, deflect. This spot's side heavies. Get out of there. Well, uh, yeah, off a deflect, you get a guard break. But it's obviously less safe than a parry. As he could always feint it. There we go. He could always feint it into a guard break, which beats your dodge. Well, that's what I could show you about the zone, actually. But yeah, that's his of stamina, like max punch all the time. It's always side heavy, top heavy. Let him do this. Okay, so watch this for the zone now. One, two, three, four, and I can chain it into a top light. Because it's a bot, he knows like to block it because it's like programmed in. But most people, that is so fast, they can't do it. A little nuance about uh, Berserker as well is his fainted lights are faster than his neutral light. So that is slower than this to like, parry. So max punish here would be the guard break into a wall, into the top heavy. As you get a bit of damage on the throw. Uh... What else have we got? So, uh, I will let him attack first because he'll stop attacking after a bit. So you'll throw a heavy now. So what you could do is shit like, you could throw the heavy, dodge. Can you imagine if I, if I thought that was going to hit me, that heavy, and I cancelled my attack into a dodge attack? What's nice as well, because he's got a dodge attack, if say someone's 50-50 in me, I can negate it by simply uh, doing my dodge attack. And that, mate, is pretty much uh, Zerka. Not much to him, mate. Not much to him. Uh, I don't think I've missed anything. I see there, the bot then tried to guard break my missed light, but I was able to cancel it to the dodge. I'll, sh I'll show you the uh, trading, actually. So right now, I'm in an advantage position, so with this... And as you saw, he tried to guard break my whiff, but I oh, armored through his uh, guard break attempt and got the top heavy. Shit like that. So, yeah, mate, I think it's time. I jumped into a game for you, right? Eh? 